This screencast covers the material in Module 5, Lesson 1, where we explore volume by building with and counting unit cubes. We did that in class. Uh, we're going to uh, look at representations of them with our homework. This is based upon the practice set, which is very, very similar to the homework. The first part of your homework and the practice set is they ask us to find how, how many cubes there are in each of these representations and then uh, make some comments about how we found them. Now there's a number of things that could be uh, acceptable for the comments. Let's look at D first. That's one of the more complex of these. You'll notice that we have two different layers here. We have a bottom layer and we have a top layer and notice that the top layer and the bottom layer are not identical. I also want to look carefully right here where we see that there is no cube behind this cube so there's nothing there. You can tell by the representation. Each one of these four cubes here has to have a cube that supports it and indeed we can see all those cubes. We can see that this one is supported by that one where you see the little corner of it right there. So what do we have here? Well I can count one, two, three, four. I know that there's the one back there. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now don't count this twice because that's the same cube. So we have nine cubes. And I might just say that I have four on top, five on the bottom. Let's go to the next one. <clears throat> Again, this time we have uh, a simpler representation in a lot of ways. And we can see that the layer here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six in front. And we, we have the same amount back. Now these back here are supported by another cube. You can see that this one here is supported by the one beneath it. We have to assume that there are cubes that we cannot see. So we'll also assume that the top and the bottom layers are identical in this case. So, or I could talk about front and back. So I can say I've got six in the front, six in the back, six on the top, six on the bottom. Either way, okay, we have a total of 12 cubes. And we could say six in the front, six in the back. We have another similar representation here where we have again uh, a top layer and a bottom layer. We could also look at a front and a back layer. We could also look at it going side to side where we have several layers. But again we're going to talk about this being the bottom part here being the ground floor and again these all have to be supported by something. So if we have one, two, three, four, five, okay, five going this way, and two deep, that's five times two is ten. Then we have two layers. That makes twenty. So we have twenty cubes. And <clears throat> we can say five by two cubes on the bottom. five by two cubes on the top. And again, these are just some examples of explanations. There's a lot of things that would be acceptable. In this next section of the homework or practice set, uh, you need to create representations, 3D representations of these cubes using this dot paper. And the fundamental unit here is a rhombus, so let's get started. I'll kind of walk you through making some of these shapes. It says seven cubic units. Now, there are many, many ways we can do that. Let's start with something simple. I'm going to start with one cube here, right? I'm going to keep going, doing my best with this stylus. Okay, I have four, five... Six, seven. Now I need to make the sides. So we'll start by going from the corner of that. We'll just draw these 
lines going down. Then we'll connect them. And there we have a representation of seven. Now, there's many ways you can do this. I could make a two by two here. And I'll go one, two, three. And I will make my rhombuses. And I'll make a set behind there. And because I need seven, I'm going to go one further. And we can do this. Connect them. We could also go up and down. There's a number of possibilities here. It's, it's really quite simple. It's a matter of just uh, making these rhombuses and connecting them. Uh, we can go on and do the next one, eight. I'm going to do a two by two once again. So I'm going to have one, two, and I'm just going to continue. Three, four, there's, that's four right there. Two, continue. You can see it's a little easier to just make them with one continuous line. And we can just go connect, connect, and finish it off. Okay, let's do something a little different uh, with this next uh, example here. I can also stack these. So I'm going to make a two by two on the top. So I have one, two. Complete the tops. And then I'm going to go uh, two deep, two up and down. So complete this. So you can see we have uh, a ground floor, as they say in the lesson, of four and four more stacked on top of it for a total of eight. And again, there's uh, an infinite number of ways you can do these, virtually infinite. So be creative if you like, uh, but if you're having a harder time, keep it fairly basic. Okay, the last one here is we have Joyce says that a fig says that the figure below, made of one centimeter cubes, has a volume of five centimeters cubic centimeters. Explain her mistake. Well, if we look at that, we only can see five, right? There's one here, one here, one here, one here, one here for a total of five. But this last one is not floating on air. So there is another cube that is underneath it supporting it. So I'm not going to write this out, but how can you explain it? Well, uh, Joyce can see four cubes, or five cubes rather, but there's a, a sixth one that's supporting the cube that's on the second layer toward the rear of the object so that there is a total of six you just cannot see uh, that last one